she was so loving she was a bubbly full of mischief but she's very caring always took other people under her wing just seeing her just looking at her foot up there now she's actually giggling there so i can just hear the sounds coming out of her mouth do you get what i mean it's just yeah that's what she was like stephanie hamacott was killed in a gas explosion on the 8th of january last year she was on her way to school with her mother, walking just a few paces ahead when gas seeping from a fractured mains pipe underground was ignited by the spark from a neighbour's hot water heater. Mrs Hamacott never has and never will talk about what happened next that day, but neighbours' witness statements describe hearing the explosion and then a woman screaming, somebody help me, where's my baby? Running to the scene, they found Mrs. Hamacott tearing at the rubble with her bare hands, desperately trying to find her daughter. The house was on fire and there were flames all around her, but she refused to move back, shouting at people, there's no way I'm moving, my baby is in there somewhere. I just can't comprehend I'm still here. It should have been me and not her. I'm 40 this year. I know I've got a wonderful husband and three children, but even Christmas Day I've sat there looking at the girls, opening the presents, thinking it should be pouring the three girls. I'm top my place with them. The three girls were together with Paul. I think I'd be quite happy to swap places with her. Protect my baby. At the end of the road, a small plaque marks the site of the explosion. Both physically and emotionally, they are still living in the shadows of that day. I can't walk that path that you've had to come in. I can't walk along. We've had to change things. We draw back our curtains in the window each morning and you can see where it's happened. You know, we, we park our car and you, you park it near where it's happened. So it's, it's still hard to go out there, but you know stuff without their pain. At the inquest into Stephanie's death, the jury returned a narrative verdict, finding that the gas main had fractured due to insufficient support below and pressure from above. But a police investigation found no evidence of any culpability on the part of either the gas or the water board, and the CPS have said they won't bring any charges. The family now say they'll consider civil action. I have to change all my daily routines. I can't, I can't cope doing what we used to do. Everything. Everything's changed. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Plymouth.